Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Hot Wheels Beat That. We're gonna beat it. Actually, well, that's still nowhere to be found, so I don't know what to make of that particular issue. But, we aren't really going after that anymore, so it's kind of a weird name. We don't even know what we're going after anymore. Something that that has warned us about. Something that, at some point or another, we suspect you will come up across. We don't have a very good track record so far in this game of actually finding whatever we're looking for. That might change one day. Draft for a while, which is super easy. Drift for a while, okay. Considering the nature of this challenge, it's not really any concern to do those. That's very trivial. The biggest part is finding a good place to drift, and actually I can do that pretty easily too. Especially with this car. And that'll be towards the end of the track, I think. Come on, dude. It's okay, somehow that worked. I don't feel like that would have counted, but whatever. Okay, this time I'm not getting pushed to the right. Why did other cars get pushed to the right? At that part there. Is it only in the limit? And Eliminator or something? I feel scammed out of that green room. Actually opened up on the first try. Awesome. Ah, that would be an awesome to... Oh jeez. Someone else... These guys are slower than I thought. Dude! How slow do you have to be? Man. I wonder if one day I'm gonna have to get the compressor for what my commentary because I, I'm generally not varying my volume that much I don't feel like but when I do the difference is pretty stark I'm curious if it bothers anyone ever he suddenly being so much louder anyways that's a lot of drifting points that we need but we have a lot of time and we have infinite drifting right here so Now yeah, I should just be drifting in a circle forever, I think. Ah, oh, darn. Mess it up a little bit. But... We have enough space for it. No question. Awesome. I like how you can supercharge your rockets before they're even... ...ready for you again. Ah, what? What? What it? What? Huh? Camera? Physics? Things are still so wrong in this game. The worst part is that we have no idea who's doing it. It's it's a lot more comfortable when you can point to somebody as the one to blame for your problems. You don't know the source of our problems anymore. We're looking for it. That has tried to prepare us at least mentally for it. Slingshot, I mean to say. Darn it, it's hard to get used to that, being slingshot. Anyways, tournament, coming a little late. Not an episode later than one would hope, but here we are. Uh, we're gonna need a good car though, so... Um, the worst car I'd be willing to use would be Medicog. I feel like they're actually about on par with all these guys. I don't think there's actually much... Like, between these three cars, I think they're actually all pretty balanced with each other. Maybe you have a slow, slightly lower stat total with Metacog? I don't know. I think I, we can use Metacog. We haven't used Metacog in the past episode and a half, at least. As I was saying, but as I was saying, first place in every round. I can try. Slingshot has warned us of something greater and more concerning here that we are approaching when they met with us in the simulation. But we have no idea what that might be. Speaking of new and unexpected things, who gets to join us this tournament? We'll try to get a good look at him. No! Come back.
Ugh. We, everyone's tesling each other. We made like a three Tesla chain. That was wonderful. It's a little hard to see them here. Yeah, they're, not, they're looking a little. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Those poor, poor individual. It is actually, in fact, none other than slingshot in a very unfortunate condition. You might get to get a better look at them later. After this tournament, we'll definitely get a good look at them. Well, I don't know if we get a good look at them in this race. But yes, in fact, slingshot. Finally, actually being here. First to see in person. They're not quite as really game. Okay, it was a really good thing I didn't fall all the way down there. I was wondering for a moment if there was going to be kill plane or not. Good thing there was. I'm still in first. Wow, we really got ahead. But the digital representation we saw of them back in the simulation wasn't not quite a an accurate representation of their current state. And this is probably a pretty good sign that we should be worried about whatever it is that we're going to be facing here. It's nice that Medicaid can make this jump, by the way. Considering that not everybody can, as we've seen. Is there, am I going to be able to do anything weird like hitting anybody through walls with this Tesla or anything? I just feel like I am. Like I've done before. I kind of want to supercharge something, so I'd like to get the power up. Try to use it. Um, ooh, I have a nice idea, actually. Oh my god, I'm finding new ways to screw everything up. Come on, man. I get such a, a grotesque lead. And then I squandered the whole thing. But you can't tell me that it's not Diabolical, but a mine right there. That's gonna mess someone up bad. Hopefully. But that wasn't really anything I felt the need to supercharge. I could have, so I could have put a put another mine on the loop here. Actually, oh well. But it's very nice of Slingshot to actually decide to, after all this time, try to join us themselves. I would say, offer us what guidance they can, what they'll be able to offer with their greater knowledge of the situation than the little we have to go off of. Why did you turn down your lights? Battle spec. Also, it's kind of cool seeing that and their minion still here. In fact, here's the question of whatever went on with that's other minion. I suppose that up until now, that's been... Slingshot, excuse me. Has been... tending to their runes and the like with the aid of the other minion of slingshots that we encountered in the previous playthrough on Nitro difficulty. Only briefly, that we never actually unlocked. We'll get an explanation for what happened with that car eventually later on in this playthrough. It's really, really strange what happened with that car and like the nature of that car in this game. Not from like a story standpoint, but like what that car is. Also, that's what that car is supposed to look like. The retextured whole thing. Uh, if they're a combination of original retexture and copying some stuff from World Race slingshot texture. But they have managed to get second, that's very nice. Haha! Tailed just a little bit by their helper, their assistant, their companion. That's nice. So, race cam, what's your deal? I'm really surprised Battle Spec managed to get third, but whatever. I have managed to get first place in one round so far. Alright, but we'll keep on trying. So I don't know what then that's other helper, it doesn't feel right saying minion anymore, but that's other companion. That also feels like too strong a word. But that's other helper would be doing right now, since they're not here with that anymore, or there with that. And by that I mean slingshot, of course. 
I'll adjust one day. No idea. Maybe we'll get informed at a later date as to what they're doing. To be perfectly honest, right now I actually have no gas. So. Interesting drifting there. Oh, somebody got stuck. Oh no. It's been a long time since that's happened, actually. Whoa! Alright, we're okay. Not sure that was about, but we're okay. You know what? Whatever you're using, stop it. Ah, no more shield. I really never did realize that you can cancel shields and whatnot using that. I did. Okay, maybe not, but I did. Hey, go away. No track to you. Yeah, you would think that Slingshot in their current condition would be going easy on themselves and, man, just put that bird. And would not be going for the jumps and whatnot, but that doesn't seem to be their style. I don't know if that really knows how to tone things down, or slingshot, that is. I don't know if, it's, if that's really their style. Never did really get to know that as a racer, I wouldn't say. Aside from what little, like, that was a really bad idea. Largely malevolent things they did. In reality, will be things they did back in World Race. Like, you saw the things they could do on loops, for instance, if you've seen that playthrough of mine. Reaching speeds of well over 300 miles per hour. When the max speed in that game is supposed to be 200 miles per hour on those loops. Not the most honest of racers. Doing whatever it took, essentially. I imagine now that Slingshot will be a little bit more honest if they're on our side. But of course, not everyone on our side is especially honest as a racer either, as we've seen with certain other cases, such as Gearhead, so... Such as, in particular, Gearhead, back in the bowling alley last time we were there, actually, discovering a shortcut of sorts, an illegitimate shortcut, a sequence break in one of the courses. Can you stop spending so much time on two wheels, please? And I don't mean that in the sense of spend more time on one or fewer wheels. More time on three or more wheels, please. Certainly not what I want either. Oh, no power-ups I've really been wanting lately. Although I don't really know what power-up I would want now that I think about it. There's no way to... nobody for me to Tesla. The place I really want to put mines down on. Also, I'm a little concerned right now about what place I'm in. Take that. Alright, that could have gone worse at the end, at least. And, of course, Slingshot's still with us. Oh no! What happened to Battle Spec? Where'd he go? Ah, buddy! Also, race camp, seriously, pick it up. Lost well, still doing pretty alright. Which is cool. Slingshot can apparently handle themselves. They're pushing themselves, no doubt, considering how they're looking right now, but. In any case. That'll have to be it for this episode of Let's Play Hot Wheels Beat That. I'll see you guys next time in the next episode. I guess that has, in fact, been beaten quite badly, physically. <laughs> in one particular interpretation. In any case, see you then, guys.